Hi guys, today I'm going to find the derivative of e to the power of x using the first principle. Now, let's just write it down, e to the power of x, the derivative of it. Now, everyone knows what first principle is, so I'm just going to write it. E equals to the limit of h goes to zero, and then e to the power of x plus h minus e to the power of x over h. Now guys, this is the definition of first principle. Now we will do some manipulation. So as you see on the top, we can factor out an e to the power of x. So that is exactly what I'll do. Okay, so this one will just become e to the power of h, and this one will obviously just become 1. And then we keep the denominator the same. Now, we can just take this e to the power of x outside of the limit, because this e to the power of x does not include h. Everyone knows that e, so I'm going to write the actual definition of e and where it came from. So e is equal to limit as n goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n, the power of n. Now, everyone should know this. This is a common rule in mathematics. Now, there's also um, another way to write this, but it's not as common as this. So the other way is limit. This time it's not n going to infinity, it's n going to zero. Okay, and then you see this inside the brackets, this one is one over n. But then for this new one, we'll just change it into n. And then we will change the power into one over n. Okay, now let's go all the way back here. So we will have to try to manipulate this to make it look like this, okay? So we will let a simple substitution. So we have to let n equals to e to the power of h minus one, okay? Now, e to the power of h equals n plus one. So h equals ln n plus one. Now, since we changed it to n, we have to also change this. So, when h is going to 0, this is approaching 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so this is approaching 0. So, it will be the same, but just n goes to 0. So, equals to e to the power of x, limit of n going to 0. Uh, on the top, e to the power of h minus 1 is just n, and then h is ln n plus 1. Okay? Now, we have to, we can put this n on the denominator by just changing it into 1 over n. Now we see this looks very unlike to that. So our final step is to just change this 1 over n to the power because that is one of the lawn properties. Okay, now as we know this is e, okay? So we can just change this to e but then there will be no more limit because we just solved it. So then it will just become e to the power of x times 1 over ln e. ln e is 1, 1 over 1 is 1, so it's just e to the power of x. Now we have solved the derivative of e to the power of x using first principle. Since we have solved this, lots of many other derivatives will also become easier, such as, such as a to the power of x. Now, since I said before, since like we figured this out, so then we have to make this into base e, because then it will become easy like this. So then we all know that anything can change into e to the power of ln of that thing. Now, using a ln property, we can put this x to the back. Okay, now we can just calculate the derivative of this. Now, the derivative of this, so this is what we do. Step one is, you see, this is e to the power of x. Its derivative is just the same thing. So step one is to just copy this down and then use the chain rule. So its derivative is just copy it down times the chain rule. The derivative of this is just the wrong a because this we know is just this because we manipulated this into that. So it's just a to the power of x 
times the log i. Now, the derivative of this is just this. And there's another one that will also become more simple, which is y equals ln x. Okay? Now, there's a reason why I'm writing y equals ln x, because we will be using dy over dx. Okay? So, how do we make e? I know. We just change the x into e to the power of y, right? x equals e to the power of y. Okay? But we still need to figure out dy over dx. dy over dx equals 1 over dx over dy. Okay? Now, dx over dy is just deriv the derivative of e to the power of y. And we already know. It equals 1 over e to the power of y. And e to the power of y is just x. So the derivative of ln x equals 1 over x. These are the two derivatives that will become easier once you know that the derivative of e to the power of x equals e to the power of x. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And if you like content like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.